How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the Carter Redux channel. My name's Tommy. Let's talk about how to use dynamic text in your ArcGIS Pro layouts and some new things that I just learned about these really powerful layout elements. Now, first and foremost, dynamic text, this isn't a new topic, right? These have been inside ArcGIS Pro and ArcMap for what seems like forever, right? But what they are is just a really powerful way to pull stuff from a map and drop it directly into your layout and have it be responsive. So you can update your map and all this other stuff just automatically updates. Dynamic text. Pretty, pretty smart, right? Now, the two that we're going to focus on are relative scale and scale. When you add those to your map, it automatically adds a scale tag in your text properties box. Now, the question came up from a customer, how do I disable the thousand separator for various elements in my map? Well, scale bars are pretty easy. You just uncheck the box, but dynamic text requires you to go in and modify the tag properties. You need to add a special modifier called separator. We're gonna set that to false. What this will do is it'll remove the thousand separator. Pretty cool, right? And there's other things that you can do in there. Like we can increase the decimal places to two. We can do the same thing over here with our absolute scale or representative fraction. If you're feeling fancy, uh, what am I doing? Separator equals false. Okay. But you know, for some of these larger numbers, I, uh, I kind of prefer having the commas in there. So I'm going to set that back to true. Over here, kilometers, bump that, those decimal places as well. So it's interesting that when you increase the, de you know, when you add some decimals, you actually see that it's it's rounding. Um, my neuroses kicked in hardcore on this one because I wanted to modify the actual scale so that these relative frac these relative scales were actually round, right? And I was fussing with this for a long time, and then. I checked the documentation. Turns out another old piece of functionality that, that has been inside, been in ArcMap for what seems like forever is the ability to type your relative scale directly into the scale list. So if we want it to be 2,500, so 2,500 miles, you can just type that in there. It automatically does the math and sets everything for you. And again, because all these elements in here are dynamic text. They're going to just pick up on that change and reflect that for me. Now, again, this is still using two decimal places and we can see that it nailed it exactly. That's cool. So you've taken a lot of care and effort and you want to save some of this hard work and make it reusable for, for other maps in this project or for another project altogether. This is why I love styles. Unfortunately, there's only a few things in this layout that can actually be saved as a style. Just bounce this back out to the full scale. So one thing are the grids and graticules. You can right click on those, save to style. You can also select your north arrows, save those to a style as well. Scale bars, did I do that one yet? Nope, you can save those to the style as well. And again, you can click on the, the, the element itself inside the layout or click on the table of contents view. Now, you can similarly, this almost makes you feel like you can do it. You can save to style, but it's not going to save any of this stuff. It's not going to save, in my mind, the important stuff, especially when it comes to dynamic text. All it's going to save is just the text formatting. So the font, the color, the size, all of this stuff under the text symbol properties. None of this dynamic text. What can we do instead? Well, honestly, saving individual north arrows is fun, and you can do that inside of a style, but then you have to go back through and add them both manually, and then you've got to place them again. You'd have to place each of the scale bars and reformat them, uh, place them exactly where you want. Honestly, what I like to do with layouts is I'd like to just export it to a file. Now, exporting to a file is going to render the map, so it's going to save it as a PNG or a PDF. What you really want is save as a layout file. 
There's a couple different ways to do this. We're going to save this PageX file. And with your layout tab active, you could also go to the sharing tab and click layout file. Get you to the same place. All right, and we're going to save that as a PageX file. All it is is your layout. But it also includes any references to uh, your, your maps, your inset maps, your reference maps, any map that is used in your layout is going to get rolled into that PageX file, which is really, really helpful. You know, if you're in the same project, you know, I would probably just say copy and then paste, and then you could rename that, we'll do copy. All right. And that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, but I like this because if the maps don't exist, it's going to add them to your project for you. So if you're in a different project, you'll notice that it already added this GCS WGS84 map for me and the layout template. So let me just rename this to be clear which one is which WGS84. And you know what, for this one that I copied before, I want to use this GCS WGS84 map. So let's open the dynamic text demo. We'll go over to our map frame properties. Wait for everything else to draw. And all we're going to do is we're just going to hit this drop down here for map frame and select a different map. And you'll notice everything updates, the grids, the north arrows, our scale bar, and our dynamic text. So I think that's pretty cool. That was a quick one. Hopefully uh, you found that helpful. I'll have links in the description below for all the help doc that went into researching this, as well as a video from Nasus of last year where my good friend Aubrey Kinghorn runs you through how to use dynamic text, bookmarks, and something called map series inside ArcGIS Pro. It's kind of like the, the master class of, of layouts. Um, she's amazing. Give it a watch. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for now. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.